take that last sip of the Herbalife. Get that there for once. Need an extra little sip. So here we are, episode number 25 of Steve Says. 25, holy shit. 25 episodes of me standing here babbling, talking about all kinds of stuff. Basically, as you know, each week we come here, this is kind of self-development, peak freak style. Obviously, we have a gym in Nanuet in New York, opening up a second gym, but this is really not just only towards people in the gym. This stuff can relate to anyone, no matter what, no matter what you're doing. Obviously, it all works. It all relates to the gym, but this could be have to do with your personal life, your professional life, anything like that. So today we're going to go over, we're going to go over five, five secrets to gain the most out of your life, reach the success, living life on your terms, basically find it, find it, making, making happiness out of your existence and your life. And you're actually going to hear what even makes me happy, if that's even possible, if you can imagine that. So we're going to get, we're going to start off, it's on this page just starting last week. It's only the second week that we're on this new page with the Steve Says. So make sure you're sharing this, post it, share it, tag in some people to make sure they get onto the page because a lot of people don't know about this new page yet, but this is where we have to do it because we're already capped out on the other page. So again, this is episode number 25, self-development, peak freak style. Again, we're going over five different things, five steps basically that are going to, you know, ha- have you change or change your life. Basically the steps you're going to lead to your success and take things into the next level and basically your overall happiness. So let's get rolling. And basically it's going to help you live life to the fullest, you know, giving you the path to your goals, success, and overall ass kicking in your existence, not just kind of going through the motions every day. If you follow these five steps, we're going to go over five secrets. If you want to call them not really secrets, but they probably are, because you're probably not doing most of them. So obviously there's a lot of factors that go into this, but today's five secrets will be the foundation that, that will carve out the path for your success to dominance in whatever you do, whatever your, whatever your goals are or whatever. I asked Tyson today what I should be talking about on today's episode or asked him yesterday. He told me I need, he t- told me to talk about the Hulk. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to get to that. So if you watched last week, you know I mentioned the Hulk was my favorite superhero. So when it comes down to it today, this episode will end up featuring the Hulk later on. So what could be better, right? Me sitting here rambling, talking for 15 minutes, and then talking about the Hulk. Can't get much better than that, right? So the first two secrets to carving your path to success and dominance is directly related to our core value number five. Our core value, we have, we have our 15 core values that we, that we operate by at Peak Physique and Number five is have fun, be crazy, be real, be yourself, have a sense of humor, and make people laugh. So basically, the first step is part of that, which is be yourself. That is the first step, basically, of the five steps leading into your happiness, into your success, into dominating your path, carving out your path of where you need to go. So just fucking be yourself. Don't don't be who your parents want you to be or who your teachers wanted you to be. Certainly don't be who your fucking friends want you to be because they don't even know who they want to be themselves, you know? And even don't let your spouse or your boyfriend or your girlfriend or your pet fucking goat, you know, who they want to be. Be who, be, being who others want you to be will just create a fake, fake existence for you. You know, be who the fuck you want to be. Be who you need to be. Do, do what you want, what you like, what you need, what you fucking deserve. Set your own goals, not what someone else's goals or someone else's idea of what, what you should be doing with yourself is. You know, sometimes you might need to go through some adversity, some ups and some downs, to figure out, you know, what this is, but following this step and the other four steps today, it, w- it will set you free into your own path of happiness, success, and fucking domination. So you ca- you can't manufacture authenticity is basically the point of it. Once once you are the real you, whatever the hell that is to you, whatever the real you is, the people around you need to adapt, adjust, and accept that, or they could just fucking keep it moving and get out of your way. They're either with you, who you with who you really are, or they just get run the fuck over into obscurity and forgotten about and left in your past and in the dust. You know, then your circle of friends or your circle of influence will have to, it will eventually, it'll evolve and you'll be around a whole probably different groups of people, you know, into, into that that's in line with who you are and who the real you is. So in, in your line with your goals and your passion and your vision, that's who you're going to end up, you know, encircling yourself with. When you, when you try to be all the bullshit that you're not and you just try to please all the people around you, you'll just make your life a misery and, and you'll create anxiety and probably a whole bunch of fucking hate. 
the people who are trying the people who are you who you're trying to please are probably not even being themselves anyway. So why are you wasting your fucking time trying to please people who not even being themselves anyway? So you're not being yourself trying to please someone who's probably not being themselves anyway. What a fucking psychotic fucking circle mess, right? So in, in high school, I was miserable. I hated every second of it. I had zero friends. I don't have one single good memory of high school. I've gone over that many times. You know, I, so I couldn't imagine going to college and prolonging that misery. It just, I just knew college wasn't going to be for me. A lot of people talked shit to me back then, told me I needed to go to college, that I would just continue to be a loser and worthless and end up dead or in jail. So nothing against college. Obviously, you know, I'm sure it benefits many people, but I felt that going to college, at least for me, would have been what made me continue to be a loser, continuing the trend from high school, rather than if I didn't go to college, I was going to be a loser. I felt like if I did go to college, I was going to continue being a loser. So my college was the Marine Corps with, with a couple of short pit stops in jail, of course, but that was my path. That, that was my adversity I needed to do to, to carve out my path, basically. And it's what made me just let me be myself. Going to college was not going to be me being, me, me being myself. High school certainly wasn't. That shit was miserable. You know, that is what led me to where I am today and carved this, my path to opening up a gym that is now an escape and a safe haven for people to come and be themselves. We're helping carve their path to success when, when no one else accepts who they are and they don't fit anywhere else and they can't get results anywhere else. The peak free culture that we've created, you come, you come here, you're part of the family. So being yourself will, will freaking set you free. Once you stop worrying about what other people want for you and you stop giving a fuck about what other people think of you, there's a huge weight that's lifted off your shoulders. So you can now have freedom and the foundation to move on to the next four steps on, you know, living on your fucking terms of what we're talking about. So we're going to step number two. So step number one was be yourself. So step number two is also part of our core value number five, which is have fun, be crazy, be real, be yourself, have a sense of humor and make people laugh. So the next part of this is taking care of yourself. Taking your care of self does, doesn't only mean exercising and eating healthy. It means having fun, being happy, having a strong mindset, having a sense of humor. That's, what, that's really what taking care of yourself is. The physical part actually is the easiest part and the eating healthy, people act like it's, it's so difficult. The eating healthy and the, and the phys- exercise part is the easiest part of taking care of yourself. It's the, the mindset part and the having fun and the being happy, having a sense of humor. That's the, that's the stuff that people miss the boat on when it comes to taking care of yourself. So first you have to be yourself, then you need to take care of yourself. Be positive all the freaking time in everything you do and spread that positivity with all the people around you. Positivity is fucking infectious. It, you know, make people feel good. Make them fucking laugh. I might not appear on the outside since I lack the facial musculature required to, in order to, to, to smile, but I am happy almost all the time. Not much can drag me down because I live by these five steps that we're going over today. I have fun in almost everything I do. Even if it's something serious, I'll find a way to have fun out of it and make it, you know, some kind of a joke and I'll talk a lot of shit and I'll be sarcastic and sometimes I'm just being myself and saying what comes out and and for some reason people laugh and find it humorous, whatever. They might be laughing at me, but like I said, I don't give a fuck. But if I can make them laugh, then I'm doing part of my job of, of... taking care of myself and being happy and spreading that happiness and being positive and spreading it, being infectious with your happiness and your positivity. Part of taking your care of yourself on the inside, you know, part of, part of it inside is being happy, like I said. And yes, believe it or not, I am one happy motherfucker. Can't you tell? Can't you fucking tell how happy I am? So what is happiness? Happiness is a combination. Money, meaning, health, and relationships is what it, what it comes down to. So what it bo- boils down to is your actions will lead to your happiness, but your beliefs lead to your action. Your thoughts and the people around you influence your beliefs. So you need to have positive thoughts and be around positive people. And that is all it is. That's, that is the whole foundation to being happy. That's all, that's all you need is positive thoughts and being around positive people is the foundation for happiness. So let's reverse engineer that. So basically, if you have positive thoughts, you're around positive people, if you're around positive people, that's going to lead to positive thoughts and positive thoughts and positive people are going to lead to believe your beliefs. Your beliefs are going to lead you to taking action. Your actions that you take are going to lead to your happiness, which happiness, like I just said, to start was money, meaning, health, and relationships. So you need to have positive thoughts and be around positive people as a foundation to being happy. So you need to take care of yourselves on the insides as much as you need to take care of yourselves on the outsides. Your insides, you know, by eating healthy, gives you high energy, 
to keep moving forward and grinding forward and attacking and always on the assault, giving yourself a sense of purpose with the fuel to make shit happen and, and get shit done that you need to get done, then you, your physical training that you're doing, your exercise, you need to build muscle and have the cardio conditioning and the stamina and the durability, the, have the strength and durability to physically keep going when others might have been given up or been exhausted at completing a task, but you need to have, that's why you do need to take care of yourself physically also, but that's, you know, obviously not the most important stuff, but you also need to take care of your freaking mind, which is what these five steps that we're talking about and almost everything we always talk about each week on this broadcast is all about. If your mind isn't where it needs to be, it doesn't, it doesn't matter what else you do. So take care of your fucking brain and your mindset first, and then all that other stuff is going to fall into place. Then add the stupid shit like going to get freaking tattoos and getting your hair and nails did and getting your big ass, big uh, fake ass silicone uh, calves or something or whatever until you have your mindset focused. You shouldn't be shaking what your surgeon gave you if you don't have your freaking screws screwed on straight in your brain. You know, that would probably just dig you deeper into a hole. But once you have your head where it needs to be, go do whatever the fuck makes you happy. Get your pinky toe implants if you want to. If that's what floats your boat, do what you got to do. So first be yourself, then take care of yourself from the inside out. The next step is directly related to our core value number one, which is bring the fucking fire every second of every second. Basically, that's saying do whatever you do with pride and passion. That is step three. Do whatever you're going to do with pride and passion, no matter what it is. Basically that, basically, that means whatever you're doing, do it to the highest fucking performance possible. Whether it's working out or creating a project for school or your office work or whatever. Why are we going blurry there? Maybe I'm moving around, bouncing around too much. I don't know. Whatever it is, uh, your, your workouts, your office, uh, creating a project for school, I said, or your office work, whatever it is. Whatever you do... Be the fucking best at it. Bring the fire to it. Do it with passion and a sense of purpose. If you're sweeping the floors, be the best damn floor sweeper in the fucking world. Sweep the fuck out of that floor and make the best, no, make, make that the best swept floor in the freaking world. And, and guess what? Your precision and attention to detail and your passion and ability to make shit happen, but most importantly, your pride will eventually be recognized, appreciated, and I guarantee is going to lead to bigger and better things. So, this leads to core value number 12, which is overpromise and overdeliver. So don't just sweep the floor. You know, pick up some trash while you're sleeping the floor. If your job is to sweep the floor, pick up some trash. Put a fucking smile on your face. Say hello to everyone that you, that you cross paths with while you're sweeping the damn floor. Do twice the work in, in half the amount of time. Don't resent the work you're doing. Appreciate the opportunity to be able to show how good of a fucking floor sweeper you could possibly be. And, and be grateful that you're able to work so hard and operate with such a high performance. Whatever you're doing, if you don't like it and it drains you and it doesn't make you happy, if you lack the fucking passion for it, you need to either train yourself up to that standard and level that you have the passion and you like what you're doing or trade yourself the fuck out and either figure out how to make it work for you or go do something else that's going to make you happier. Don't just drag something on, wasting your time and wasting everyone's time around you. And I'm not just talking about work. You know, we're talking about working out. We're talking about people who you surround yourself with. If you don't have the ability or passion to bring the fucking fire every second of every second in whatever you are doing, then simply just get the fuck out. Now, that, that's, now that's bringing the fire every second of every second right there. So speaking of getting the fuck out, this leads us to steps number four and number five of what I'm talking about. Step number four. Well, let's, let's just backtrack a second. So we talked about the Hulk. So this is where the Hulk comes in. Tyson told me that, you know, to talk about Hulk today. I always ask him, what's that talk about today on, on, my, on my broadcast? He's telling me Hulk. A few weeks ago, he told me to talk about Legos. So Tyson told me to talk about Hulk today. And all this that we talked about today is what came into my mind when I thought about the Hulk. So he told me to talk about Hulk and everything I just talked about in the last few minutes is what somehow in my fucked up mind came to. Stop the F word. You have kids around. Well, I'm sorry. That's reality. The F word it is the wrong place to say stop the F word. I'm not sure if there's many other words in here, but the F word. So Tyson told me, how many kids you have anyway? Jesus, you always have. How many kids do you have? So Tyson told me to talk about the Hulk. So we're going to talk about the Hulk today. And, and this is all that started brewing on my mind. Just thinking about the Hulk. This is what I came up with for this broadcast. All that we're going over so far. These five steps of happiness. Because Hulk, believe it or not, is a happy motherfucker. The Hulk is the master 
of step number four in leading to your success, your happiness, and your freaking domination. He is the, the, the master of it. Step number four is just to let shit out. Let it out. He is the fucking master of letting it out. He gets so freaking mad, he turns green, and he just starts fucking smashing everything and everyone in sight that deserves it, and sometimes people who don't deserve it, and he doesn't give a fuck what anyone thinks. He's just going to let it out. He's going to just release it, release, get rid of it, get rid of it, release the beast. Once he's done, he is so fucking happy and calm and relaxed and satisfied, he fucking sleeps like a baby. That's how happy he becomes, by just letting it out, letting it out. So now that, that, that's, that's the ultimate letting shit, letting shit out right there of what, what Hulk does. So just, just let it the fuck out in whatever way you need to, you know, do it. Let out the tension, the anxiety, the stress, the worry, the hate, the resentment, the anger, the fear, the frustrations, the unhappiness, whatever it is, just freaking let it out. Let it out. Let it out however you need to. You, you can let it out in, in two different ways, either aggressively or Number two, by doing the things that are going to make you happy. That's really the two ways to let, it, let out the things we're talking about. Aggressively or in, in doing, by doing the things that make you happy. A lot of times, especially in my case, those two things are exactly the same. Aggressively and what makes me happy are all in one, both the same thing to me. So if you remember, happiness boils down to your thoughts and the people you surround yourself with. So how do I let it out? What, and what makes me happy? Obviously, working out and beating the shit out of a heavy bag. Or even better, beating the shit out of you know a, a, a person who deserves it, but that shit usually gets you in trouble. Or maybe going to the, the, the range and going shooting, you know that that's letting it out for me. That's that's aggressive letting out, and also something to do that makes me happy. Playing video games where you could just beat the shit out of people and go shooting and not go to jail. That's aggressive. That's something that makes me happy. All my ways happen to be fairly aggressive, but they are things that I'm doing that make me happy. Then when I do. What do we got? Boxing is your anger management. Of course, that dot boxing class at Peak Physique has probably kept Maureen O'Toole out of prison. She'd be probably doing 25 to life right now if it wasn't for boxing class. Yes, need to try shooting. Hold that thought. I'm setting something up for us. So then, the, the, so these things, like I said, the, all, all the things that make me happy, happy happen to be fairly aggressive, but they also make me happy. So not mine are combined. It's like an easy. That's why I'm, I'm always happy. It's, it's hard to bring me down. So then, then when I do these things with my kids, when I'm letting it out, it, the letting it out becomes even more enhanced. So, so now you let it out with aggression. I'm doing things that make me happy and I'm surrounded by the people, the good people, which are, you know, when I'm doing this stuff with my kids. So there, there's everything right there to the happiness, right? The, the surrounding yourself, the people you're surrounding yourself with and your thoughts. So, and my, and my kids like to do the same things I do and we do all that shit together. This is why our boot camp classes are so amazing and, such, and get and goes such crazy results. It's the deadly combination that, for happiness, which is a positive mindset, you know, and, uh, and, uh, and thought, the thought, the thought of it all, and surrounding yourself with like-minded, positive people. That is what the peak freak culture is all about. That's what, what self-development is all about, is finding that, finding that happiness. It, and that creates the ultimate happiness is what leads, why it leads to these results. So this all leads to the fifth step, First, you know, you have to be yourself. Then you have to take care of yourself. Then do everything that you do with purpose, purpose and passion. Then you have to let it out, release the beast. And after you have let it out, you need to fucking let it go. Let go of it. Let it go. And this is not just a fancy saying that you hear people say all the time. Oh, just let it go. Oh, let it go. Bullshit. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about really fucking letting it go. Again, whatever it is. You know, that tension and anxiety and stress and worry and resentment and anger and fear and hate and and frustrations and unhappiness, whatever it is, after you let that shit out, let it go forever. You you still learn from that situation and you make sure you don't make those same mistakes in the future. If that was a case that you made some kind of mistake or something or whatever it is, you can learn from it. You may be not going to forget it, but let that shit go. You're not, you know, we call it up. We call it the brain dump. Some of you know, you got to, you let it out and you let it go forever. That's basically what a brain dump is. You, you don't let whatever it is consume your fucking thoughts and just eat away at you and, and, and break your freaking body down to where you can't even function and do anything else because shit is just eating you up inside. You freaking let it out and you let it go. You, you, do, you, you don't let whatever it is consume your thoughts, your mind and your energy and, and your fucking time. So 
the recap of all this, the five steps to living the way you're meant to live on your terms, leading to your success and domination, basically five steps to a happier existence, is number one, to be yourself. Number two, taking care of yourself physically and mentally from the inside out. To d- Number three, to do everything with purpose and passion. Number four, to let it out, release all that bad negative energy, just fucking let it out. And then number five, right after letting it out, fucking letting it go. That's it, right there, bam. Be yourself, take care of yourself, do everything you do with passion and purpose, let it out, release the bad vibes, letting it go. Boom, let it out, let it go. That's pretty much it. Simple, simple stuff. This is all part of the whole peak freak self-development that we work on every week. And all it breaks down to is what all of my favorite sayings that I go over every week, adapt and overcome, become a better version of yourself every day, get your shit together, stop being a little bitch, trust the process, and of course, no excuses. That's it for now. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down there. Go punch a bag. Don't punch a person unless they deserve it. And then if they do, don't get caught. Don't say that I told you to do that. And I'll talk to you guys later and I'll see you soon.